Hi guys, KO here. Welcome to Turmeric and Tequila, where we are working to inspire positive radical social evolution by uniting mission-driven humans. I'm excited to be with you today, although we do have a heavier, more heartfelt conversation ready to tee up. Uh, most of you know we lost a bright light in this world this week. Steven, aka Twitch Boss, died with death by suicide, and I wanted Turmeric and Tequila to be one more spot where we further this conversation around the epidemic of suicide, and I wanted to share what the CDC has currently posted on their site. This is very, you know, simple information, but it really just highlights all the resources that are available. If you are thinking of self-harm or you know someone that is, you can call or dial or text 988-247-365 and someone is there for you. You are not alone. So please reach out or, you know, lean into these resources that are available. I'm going to just run through this quick post that the CDC has. There's facts about suicide, just so you know how many people really are afflicted by this and who it affects and then some preventative steps that we can take if you are in this situation again please reach out and call 988 or just get onto the computer or any resources at your fingertips and recognize all the resources resources that are there to support you or support someone that might be considering this so please love each other hug one another and let's do what we can to support one another because we are all going through something you are not alone and we are here for you on turmeric and tequila Check us out wherever you get your podcasts, share this with someone that might need it, or the video will be on YouTube. Cheers. Welcome to Turmeric and Tequila with your host, Kristen Olson. Questioning a better way, one gracefully disruptive conversation at a time. Hi guys, KO here. I am always excited to be with you and it is a privilege to have you joining me on turmeric and tequila it is just you and i today and we're going to lean into the deep we have a heavier conversation i am excited always to be with you but this is um a more intense deep in kind of the combo and we've, we've covered it a little bit on turmeric and tequila certainly not enough but that it's a conversation around suicide i'm sure most people at this point have heard about the tragic loss of steven boss also known as twitch the incredible dancer initially from so you think you can dance and then was a co-producer on ellen and was on some other reality shows but just a bright light in this world probably one of the last people you thought uh would really struggle from any sort of mental health issue or anything. I don't think a lot of details have come out around this. And if they have, I haven't heard it. But the the, the main point of this conversation is to further some conversation around um, suicide and suicide prevention. So I really want to share some stats so people understand how much of an epidemic this is in America, how many people are afflicted by it, and then some of the things we can do that's, you know, preventative measures. And I think step number one is always letting people know you're not alone. There's we, we all have our struggles in some capacity, and you never really know what's going on in someone's life, even if it's painted in this perfect picture. And everything seems so good. You just never know. Everybody's going through something at all times. And I think that's such a great empathy piece to keep in our back pocket. If you're frustrated in traffic or you're mad at someone or maybe someone's mad at you or you get some reaction somewhere, always keep in the back of your mind. It might not even be about you. It might be something else. They might have something completely different going on in their world that's, you know, impacting them accordingly and, and, and you know, having them act a certain way. So we got to keep our minds big when it comes to interaction uh, with people in general and understand that everyone's going through something at all times. It's out there. We are humans and we are constantly trying to navigate this world and do the best we can. But I really want to send a loving nod to to Twitch and his family and his kids and all the the people, I mean, all the lives that he impacted. He was on such a platform. Uh, this is just such, it's such a loss and it, it, it's so heartbreaking. So I really just want to shed some light. This will be a quick one. I'm hoping if you are having any sort of suicidal thoughts or feeling alone, you can lean into that, some of these resources for this conversation. And anyone out there that's worried about somebody, I think there's we kind of don't know what to do or where to go. And there are tons of resources out there. And I think it is hard to make that first step. There's tons of stuff out there, but I want to work in tequila to be one more source talking about it and furthering this conversation because it is so deeply important and it's, it's so relevant in our society. Unfortunately, I want you to know where to go and these, and I'm just going to go through uh, something that was on the CDC center for disease control and prevention website. So this is kind of, you know, we talk about COVID and everything, the CDC, we've heard a lot about it with, you know, illness going on, but it's good that they do have information out there about suicide specifically. So this is facts about suicide. Again, this is on the CDC website. I will post the link and it says suicide is a leading cause of death. 
Suicide is death caused by injuring oneself with the intent to die. A suicide attempt is when someone harms themselves with any intent to end their life, but they do not die as a result of their actions. Many factors can increase the risk for suicide or protect against it. Suicide is connected to other forms of injury and violence. For example, people who have experienced violence, including childhood abuse, bullying, or sexual violence have a higher risk have a higher suicide risk being connected to family and community support and having easy access to health care can de decrease suicide thoughts and behaviors suicide is a serious public health problem suicide rates increased 30 percent between 2000 and 2018 and declined in 2019 and 2020. Suicide, suicide is a leading cause of death in the United States with 45,979 deaths in 2020. This is about one death every 11 minutes. That's unbelievable. Again, one death every 11 minutes. The number of people who think about or attempt suicide is even harder, is even higher. In 2020, an estimated 12.2 million American adults seriously thought about suicide. 3.2 million planned a suicide attempt and 1.2 million attempted suicide. Suicide affects all ages. In 2020, suicide was among the top nine leading causes of death for people of ages 10 to 64. Suicide was the second leading cause of death for people 10 to 14 and 25 to 34. If you think about a 10 year old, I don't know if you're around young people. Um, it, we're in an extraordinary world where the, the pressures come early to our kiddos and social media and all these things are coming at them so young. These are young, young people making major decisions. We have to further this conversation and make this a, an open, welcoming convo for, for our young people, for all people, obviously, to come and talk about but we've got to get this conversation further. Some groups have higher suicide rates than others. Suicide rates vary by race slash ethnicity, age, and other factors such as where someone lives. By race, ethnicity, the groups with the highest rates were non-Hispanic American Indian slash Alaskan Native and non-Hispanic white populations. Other Americans with higher than average rates of suicide are veterans, people who live in rural areas, and workers in certain industries and occupations like mining and construction. Young people who identify as as lesbian, gay, or bisexual have higher rates of suicidal thoughts and behavior compared to their peers who identify as, as heterosexual. So you can see now this impacts things um, disproportionately depending on your race and ethnicity, your sexual orientation. Um, where you live is even uh, a conversation around this. So, you know, if, if you are having these thoughts, you need to reach out. But maybe if you're keeping an eye on a friend in any of these um, different things, that different categories that happen to have higher rates might facilitate all the more reason or support you in reaching out to someone if you're starting to notice some red flags or you're, or you're feeling worried. I think any intel in worrying about our peers or our family members that we care about or we can you know sometimes it's hard to ask like are you okay and if they just say yeah it's hard to to dig deeper like these are really tough conversations to have if they're you know checking some of these other boxes i say lean in and find a, find the right way to try and reach out or at least give them accessible information Suicide has far-reaching impact. Su suicide and suicide attempts cause serious emotional, physical, and economic impacts. People who attempt suicide and survive may experience serious injuries that can have long-term effects on their health. They may also experience depression and other mental health concerns. The good news is that more than 90% of people who attempt suicide and survive never go on to die by suicide. Suicide and suicide attempts affect the health and well-being of friends, loved ones, coworkers, and the community. When people die by suicide, their surviving family and friends may experience shock, anger, guilt, symptoms of depression or anxiety, and may even experience thoughts of suicide themselves. The financial toll of su suicide on society is also costly. In 2019, suicide and non-fatal self-harm costs the nation nearly $490 billion in medical costs, work loss costs, value of statistical life, and quality of life costs. Suicide prevention resources for action. So here's what you can do. Suicide is preventable and everyone has a role to play to save lives and create healthy and strong individuals, families, and communities. Suicide preventions require a, co a comprehensive public health approach. CDC developed the Suicide Prevention Resource for Action, which provides information on the best available evidence for suicide prevention. States and communities can use the pre prevention resource to help make decisions about suicide prevention ac activities. Strategies range from those designed to support people at increased risk to focus on the whole population, regardless of risk. 
And then here's just some things they put together. It says strengthen economic support, strengthen household financial security and stability housing. So these are suggestions of things to help um, anyone that you think might be thinking about uh, death by suicide or just in a tough space, space, space in general. These are some things to try and help and facilitate and kind of lighten the load. Create uh, protective environments, reduce access to lethal means among persons at risk of suicide, create healthy organizational policies and culture, reduce substance use through community-based policies and practices, improve access and delivery of suicide care, cover mental health conditions in health insurance policies, increase provider avail availability in underserved areas, provide rapid and remote access to help, create safer suicide care through systems change, promote healthy connections, uh, promote healthy peer norms, engage community members in shared activities, teach coping and problem solving skills, support social emotional learning programs, teach parenting skills to improve family relationships, support resilience through education programs, identify and support people at risk, train gatekeepers, respond to crises, plan for safety and follow up after an attempt, provide their therapeutic approaches. Learn harm, lessen, or lessen harms and prevent future risk. Uh, intervene after a suicide post-intervention. Report and message about suicide safety. So these are kind of things, you know, it's, it sounds more organizational. Um, this is a very simple conversation, you know, very formal from the CDC. There are a wealth of very in-depth things you can do immediately if you are thinking about death by suicide or someone you care about is, I really suggest the best thing to do is just go on Google. But of course, if you're that person thinking um, about harming yourself, 988 is a number you can call or text immediately or 988lifeline.org. You can chat with somebody on the computer, but this is something that you can train with. A, it says connect with a trained crisis counselor. 988 is confidential, free and available 24-7, 365. So this is pretty extraordinary in this day and age. If you have any sort of tough thoughts, you can reach out any day and time completely free to speak to a professional. So if you don't want to go to your friends and family or you don't feel comfortable talking about someone, there's a trained professional that, that it's for free. No, it's confidential. No one to talk to you that you can talk to and reach out and know that you are not alone. This is affecting way more people than we could ever imagine. Even our brightest lights, our shining stars, the people it looks like they've got money coming in and family and kids and they're checking all these perfect boxes and they're still not mentally feeling happy and they and they don't want to be here anymore so don't overlook it don't un, don't overthink it if you are that person you know reach out to some of these resources if there's someone that you love or you're worried about dig into these resources on how to correctly uh address these situations and then you know be um a support in the best way that you can but i think the best thing you can do is acknowledge it and reach out and just let people know that they're truly not alone it's hard out there we've got the economy going on and we're coming off covid and just a host of other things let, let alone you know people have really tough situations in their lives, whether it be abuse or, um, you know, experiencing homelessness or, or whatever, there's a lot of really, really hard things going on. So let's lean in, let's support each other where we can. I, I want this just to be the entrance way. Ideally, if you're looking for a resource, um, to help yourself or to help others in this conversation. I love that the CDC has this information. It's accessible to everyone. Again, there are very professional situations that are out there. You can Google and connect with. A lot of them are for free and available 24 seven where you can get the right help at the right time with the right person. So God bless everyone. I'm sending love and prayers to Twitch and to his family. And I, I know that his memory and his legacy and his energy will not be forgotten. It will carry on. And let's just have this as a reminder to keep the ones that you love close, let them know, and let's keep that open door. And just in the back of our mind, know that everybody's going through something. You are not alone. If you need something, please reach out. And if you see someone that needs some, need some sort of support, reach out and do your best to connect with them. I send you all the best uh, Kristen from Tumac and Tequila absolutely loves you and thinks of you. And I'm sending my good vibes to anyone that needs it. And um, please use that source if need be. 988 24 7 365. They are there and ready for you. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you next week. Cheers. Thank you for joining Turmeric and Tequila with your host, Kristen Olson. Tune in next time and don't forget to subscribe on Apple, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.